Warren guys, JTM Off-Road here. It's a, it's a beautiful Saturday frosty morning here in Western PA. We're gonna go get something I've been wanting for a while. to Appalachian Trailers. Been in contact with them for a little bit. I'm gonna be picking up my trailer. It's an 18 foot wood deck. But uh, walk around, kinda show the place what it's like. So if you can't already tell, this place is massive. They have a lot of trailers. Appalachia Trailer makes their own trailers. They're factory direct, I guess. So they're not a dealer of other trailers. So they've got really good prices. That's why I went with them. So go ahead and walk up here, find our trailer, and uh, See if we can tell you a little bit about it. So we got the truck backed up, and one of the things that they do is they actually do the setup for you before you leave, for liability reasons. So Steven here is helping me hook up my hitch. We'll go ahead and get everything set up and ready to go. Steven just went through and checked the torque of all the lug nuts real quick. He's gonna check the air and the tires. That should be about everything. We checked the uh, lights on everything, make sure all the lights work. I'm pretty excited. So, trailer's all hooked up, and I'm here with Caitlin. And she was the salesperson who sold me this trailer. So. Um, we're just going to go ahead and talk about this. I'm sure you guys have noticed there was a lot of wind that was taking over a lot of the audio. Well, whenever Caitlin started going through the trailer and talking about some of the other trailers they have in the yard, wind was super bad and I don't have any wind protection on my camera. So it did a really, really bad job of getting the audio. So cutting that out, adding some music, and I'm going to do the best job that I can explaining the trailer. Didn't do it as good as she did. Learning from this one, gonna get some wind protection for the camera. Hopefully I never have to do this again. Also, they don't just have the trailer that I got. You can see that there was a lot of other trailers that they had there. She went through and talked about a lot of the four car haulers, uh, two car haulers, the multi-car haulers that they have, and the dump trailers. It's one of the, apparently the, one of the most popular trailers. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the rest of it. So this is the 18 foot car hauler. It's their light duty one, 7,000 pound GVWR with 6,000 pound capacity, 3,500 pound braking axles with four wheel brakes, five inch channel frame and tongue, 24 inch cross member spacing with three inch channel cross members. There's 82 inches between the fenders, treated wood deck, 
Tune 5 16 coupler, swing up jack, uh, 5 foot slide in ramps. It also has a breakaway kit, reflective tape, safety chains, and sealed beam lighting. trailer heading home that place of trailers just check them out awesome trailers great price over here at uh it's actually the one in salem ohio there's two locations and there's another one over in pa one over here in ohio is actually closer to me so anyway enough of me talking let's go home <music> Alrighty guys, just made it home, parked the trailer. I'm so thrilled, I finally have my own trailer. It'd be really nice whenever I wanna go wheeling, just hook up the trailer and go. Yeah, this is great. I mean, so far it drove nice, I don't have any complaints. It was a great experience working with the people up at Appalachian's Trailers. Thanks to Caitlin and Steven for helping me out. You guys were great. If anyone's in the market for a new trailer, definitely go check them out. Going back to another video on the transmission temperature gauge ad for the Avalanche. It's nice seeing what my transmission temperature is at. One of you guys told me that operating range is usually between 160 and 190. That's where it stayed the whole time. Normally driving around it's 150, but on the way back it was about an hour and a half drive. Just driving with the trailer, you know, it wasn't really a heavy load or anything, but it did get closer to probably around 180, 190. So I don't know what a longer trip would have been like if I had that, if it would just, you know, stay in that operating range, if it would get higher, if not, but I'm sure I'll find out here soon enough. Yeah, so we checked the, we checked the place out, um, walked all over, trailer seems to be doing good so far. You know, I didn't drive very far, it was just an hour and a half, but I'm sure you guys will see how it does in the future, because probably from here on out, I'm just going to be trailering the Jeep. Every place I go is at least an hour and a half away. It always seems like something's going wrong with this. I'd rather just have a trailer. So that's what I got that for. So that's it. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to like it. Tell me what you think in the comments. Click subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming projects and wheeling trips. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook to catch posts of videos in the making. See you next time.